Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we are taking a look at a brand new 2023 Big Country 3705 FB fifth wheel. This is a bath and a half rear living room fifth wheel by Heartland RVs. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, show you what this thing's all about, and then at the end I'll close it up for you as well and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Big Country 3705 FB fifth wall here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is a rear living room, bath and a half couples trailer. So let's start back here on this slide out here. So first things up, we have a freestanding table, two traditional chairs, does have a leaf extension that goes in the middle, so you could have some more room uh, for guests if you need it. You do have large windows overlooking the door side or awning side of the RV. On these windows, they're currently using the MCD roller shades, they call them blackout shades. And slide out height wise, I think we're probably around seven feet. So a lot of height here in the slide out, so you don't have to worry about standing up and hitting your head when you're getting out of your dinette or your theater seat area there. Now they are currently using the kind of woven material here instead of carpet. And they use this material on a lot of pontoon boats and stuff. And then you have your traditional linoleum style floors. You have power theater seat over here and this has the little lights underneath. It has uh, heat in it as well. And it also has a wireless phone charger back there. Now, traditionally you would have a trifold or hide a bed sofa across the back. This particular one was ordered with a theater seat across the back as well. And that one also has the heat and power theater seat with the lights on it as well. But again, normally you would get a trifold back there so you could have some room to sleep some guests if you wanted to. Now up top here, we have a decent amount of cabinet space. These have the magnetic catches on them. So they are pretty strong just to kind of keep your doors and stuff closed when you're traveling. But that goes all the way across there. It's probably, I'd say about, I don't know, eight inches deep, roughly. Now on the little end table over here, you have an electric outlet and USB charger port down there as well. Now just kind of looking across from your theater seat here, you got a nice view of your Insignia Smart TV. Now that TV also has some storage behind it. You can see in the picture popping up there where that right there would give you a lot of sp uh, space for, say, DVD or Blu-ray player, uh, your satellite box that you might want to put a satellite on these things or something like that. You have a JBL soundbar that they're currently using. There's two drawers there as well. And then you have your 47-inch Greystone electric fireplace. This thing's rated for, I think, close to 550 or 600 square feet uh, to kind of heat. And obviously trailers and fifth wheels are under that. So this thing would heat this fairly well. Now, obviously if it gets too cold, you wanna flip on your propane furnace. That way you're getting your underbelly and stuff heated as well and all that type of stuff. More storage up here. Pretty deep area right here. Now on the side of your island down there, you can see there is a heat duct coming out there and the propane leak detector as well. So you'll notice as we go through the uh, RV, there are no heat ducts in the floor. They're coming out of say the island, for example, or a wall somewhere. Over here, we have pretty large pantry area. So you got quite a bit of storage space here. Three drawers on this side 
And then you have some storage over on the right of the uh, oven as well. Now on the oven itself, you have a three burner stove top with the flip down glass lid. So if you're not cooking, this will give you a little more counter space. Do you have the light up knobs? And you also have the light in the oven. They're currently using this oven by Suburban. And then there's a metal drawer below as well. Now, looking at the island here, we're going to pop up a picture. It's just a little easier to see in a picture here. But you have plenty of storage space underneath of that area, along with four drawers here on there as well. So just kind of looking up at the ceiling area here, we have a 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. You do have a Coleman ducted AC down here. Nice pendant lighting up here as well. High rise sprayer faucet. Then they're currently using an Insignia refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator. It does have an ice maker in it as well. Refrigerator on top, freezer on bottom. Add some more storage up there. And a pretty decent amount of extra storage over here. And down below as well. Now over by your entry door area here, you're gonna have a little grab handle. You got your fire extinguisher there. It is a traditional uh, entry door with a window in it. Right here we have the on-demand water heater controls. And then you have the fantastic fan controls that I did forget to mention. You got a fantastic fan up there, which is basically a large turbo exhaust fan. So you got controls for that right here. You have 12 volt tank heaters, some light switches, inverter button, water pump, a whole bunch of light switches, awning lights, awning in and out, your monitor panels for your holding tanks, some slide buttons. So kind of a little centralized area here to operate parts of your RV. Heat return down there. And you have a little motion light there. Here we have half bath. So porcelain foot flush toilet. Some controls here on the wall. There's AC duct up there. There's a vent fan up there as well. Solid surface countertop in here also. Definitely some strong magnets on these doors. And then we got more storage down below here. There is actually a lock on the handle here. Control for your downstairs air conditioner and your furnace. Now for the privacy door here, you have a sliding door you'll see as we get up here. Spin around here just so you kind of see that a little better. So just a little sliding door. And then you also have more storage up here. So kind of all the way down through here. A little coat closet. Dresser area there, you have six dresser drawers, some shelf space, heat duct coming out of the dresser area as well. Nice windows there, again, overlooking that door side or on inside area. There's TV hookups there. There's a backer in the wall in case you want to put a TV or you can set it on the uh, dresser top there. 
but the electric outlet and cable outlet come out of the ceiling up there. Just kind of looking back up here, we have our second Coleman AC right here. And then we also have a gateway connect feature right here. This is usually an option on most RVs if they're prepped for it. Um, when you get into the higher end fifth wheel stuff, but this actually comes with this one. And basically all you got to do is subscribe to say AT&T or Verizon. They get you a little card thing you put in there and it gets you Wi-Fi with your RV. This right here, I think is like close to a $400 option uh, aftermarket, but they are including it in the big country currently. Bed wise, you have a camper king bed. Now this bed will raise up. So you have quite a bit of storage space. That's probably, it's a 15, 16 inches deep maybe. You got quite a bit of storage space there. Then there is two windows, one on each side. And you also have light switch there and an electric, or I'm sorry, USB charger port and electric outlet on each side. Sliding door for your main bathroom as well. So up here in the main bathroom area, you have a large walk-in shower. Pretty nice shower head set up here as well. Big skylight up above. Roof vent up here. You also have AC ducts up here as well. There's heat duct in that bathroom also. So you have a couple more drawers, some storage space below your sink. Again, beautiful solid surface countertops here. It even has the nicer matching, you know, solid surface inlaid sink there as well. Window over here. Now, if you want to do a washer and dryer, it would actually go right here. So this is set up for a stackable washer dryer. You have your water lines and drain lines and stuff down here. They got a little spot marked on the wall there for a dryer vent to go. And then you got a whole nother little closet section over here. So there's an electric outlet right here. You got a couple different hanging bars in here along with shelf space. There's electric outlets down there for your washer dryer. So basically you can kind of see here, there's a little bit of a gap in that section. So you can just feed your water lines and stuff through there or not water lines, but electric lines and plug things in. But a pretty good walk-in closet here. All right, I want to take you back to the outside here. I want to show you around the outside of the RV as well. And then we're going to come back in and close this thing up for you so you can see what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Heartland Big Country 3705 FB fifth wheel here. We're going to start here on the door side of the RV and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior attached to an upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. It has aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewalls. You have a lower black metal skirting, some vinyl decals. You have power awning with an LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV up there. And it also has adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. The unit has a six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system on it. So you can see your two front jacks. You can also see that drop frame giving you taller storage. And there's a dump hose holder right there as well. Now, just over here, you have a little pet friendly leash latch holder. 
There is a gas line connect right there, so you could plug in a portable grill if you wanted. And you can also see your mid auto level jacks there as well. And then there's gonna be some more behind the axles when we get back there. The unit has a three year limited structural warranty. I know that don't sound like a lot, but actually in the RV industry, it is kind of a lot. Uh, most are only one year. There you have one of your two 30 pound propane tanks. It is very windy today, so hopefully it's not too horrible sounding. Your storage door raises up, has shock assist on it right here as well. Right inside of here is your solar charge controller. The unit has 380 watts of solar on it with a 30 amp charge controller. You have electric outlet right there and cable outlet as well. There are four lights down here in the storage area where a lot of them only have one or two. Right here you have your auto level jack controls as well. Pretty much all vinyl floor in this lower section. There's an electric outlet right there. And then you have your Furion on-demand water heater right there as well. Now right here on the side, you'll notice that is prepped for a side camera. So you could have a camera on each side and then one on the back. I'll show you when we get back there. You also have your entry steps here as well. And you could see in the picture popping up there, this thing basically holds itself up due to having the shock assist. So while it is the upgraded more ride step, it also is the upgraded version that has the shock assist on it as well. You do have a traditional light up above your entry door. So besides the LED light strip and the awning, you also get the extra little porch light as well. A lot of brands only do one or the other. You have that really nice more ride uh, safe trail handrail there. Basically just folds right up flat against the RV. So that's another nice feature that's a little different than some of the other brands out there. Currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. You have aluminum wheels, drum brakes. Um, it also has the upgraded More Ride CRE 3000 center point suspension there, which kind of acts like shock absorbers. But another really important thing, which I'll show you a little sensor when we get around to the other side, the Big Country now comes with an ABS brake system with sway control. There's a couple other brands out there doing an ABS brake system without a sway control system. And most of them don't have anything other than just regular RV brakes. So here we're getting not only the upgraded ABS, but we're also getting the sway system as well. Big windows again, overlooking the on inside area. So when you're inside there, again, you've seen when we were in there, just kind of having a nice view out the back and out the door side of the RV. Down below right there is your spare tire and your rear hydraulic jack. Again, unit does have the enclosed underbelly. Now on around to the back side, you have a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end. So this right here is prepped in the top center for the Furion observation camera. And again, you have the side camera prep as well. So definitely check that out. Nice safety feature to consider adding to any of your RVs out there. It is also prepped for the Lippert Stow and Go portable ladder that you can buy aftermarket. And basically that little black rectangle up there, you would attach it there, it telescopes down and allows you to get up and down on and off your roof for inspections and stuff. But then you can also just telescope it closed, throw it in a storage compartment, kind of forget about it till you need it. Not have to worry about anybody's kids or anything horsing around, climbing up there, falling off and getting hurt. You have a two inch hitch receiver on the back of the RV here. This is just for like a luggage rack or a bike rack. It is not meant for, um, you know, pulling a boat or something like that behind it. Your power cord is probably about 25 or 30 feet long roughly, but it is a powered power cord reel. You have the 
stove exhaust vent up there. Now these slide outs could have a slide out awning cover put over top of them if that interests you. Talk with your salesperson about that. That is a nice feature to consider adding to the RV. It's an awning that rolls in and out with the slide as it goes in and out. And it basically helps shade the top of the RV, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that. So again, you don't have to worry about stuff falling on top of your slide, you forgetting about it, running your slide out in, and possibly tearing up your seals and sweeper gaskets. Down here you have your hot and cold low point water drains and your drain valve system for your main and your half bath as well. Now right in here you do have one of your pull handles right there. Furnace exhaust out right here. The unit has a whole house water filtration system here. You also have your winterization bypass valves back here, black tank flush, outside utility showers right here. Uh, three more of your pull handles right here, cable satellite inlets, electric outlet, all right here in your little docking station. The other side of your storage compartment here. And again, your baggage doors are on that shock assist, so you don't have to worry about it getting up too high and interfering with your slide. You do have the metal slam lock door handles as well. And then just up here, we have our other 30 pound propane tank with the auto changeover regulator right there as well. Now here's the other little sensor that I was telling you about for your Dexter ABS system right here. And that right there, trying to remember the colors of it, but I believe it's green when it's good and then it can turn orange if it's sensing any type of malfunctions with your ABS system. And also there's an app that you download onto your phone, allowing you to see what's going on and that everything is working properly. Uh, but it is a really nice safety feature, again, with that sway control built in to help keep you going straight down the road instead of getting all swirly and squirrely. On the front right here, some really important informational stickers. So like this first one right here is your production date sticker. For example, this one was built 5-5 of 23, model number 3705 FB, VIN number on here, and then it gets into things as far as your gross vehicle weight. So this camper grosses out at 16,500 pounds. That's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. Your tires are currently ST25585R16 E range tires with an 80 PSI. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure on these things. Uh, and then you also have your cargo carrying capacity sticker basically telling us this thing will hold 2,646 pounds of cargo. And if you wanna know your dry weight, Take your gross weight minus your cargo weight, and that will give you the dry weight. We'll have that down in the description. Nice rounded front end as well. So it is a better turning radius on your cap where it's not the traditional far out squared off front that you have to worry as much about hitting your truck. So it is a little better turning radius. They're using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box here instead of a traditional pin box. So you do get an upgrade here as well. Some storage here has a light in here as well. Now down below right here, this is basically boxed out and prepped out to where aftermarket, if you wanted to put a generator in here, you could. You do still have to wire it all up and do all that type of stuff. But they did put kind of a metal boxed out area down here, separate compartment for something like that and then over here we have all kinds of goodies over here so you have a 2000 watt uh, pure sign power inverter right there there's also a light in there I forgot to turn on 
It is prepped for the tire link, tire pressure monitoring system that you can also put on aftermarket, nice feature. Your hydraulic reservoir, you have a couple battery disconnects right here, and a battery compartment as well. But overall, a lot of really nice features to the new 2023 Big Country 3705 FB model here. Now I wanna go back inside real quick for you, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Big Country 3705 FB here. And I just wanna show you what this thing looks like closed so you kinda of know what you're gonna be hauling down the road uh, and how you can kinda of access and get in and out. So when you are ready to close it up, you have to come back here to your control panel to your two slide buttons. One button controls the bedroom here, which is an electric slide. So you just push the button. It's gonna come in and pretty much butt right up against the dresser area right here. And that would allow you to climb over your bed to get to your bathroom area and stuff over there. Okay, so that's pretty much all the way in. Kind of see how that works. So when that is in, it's not really affecting, you know, my downstairs half bath or any of that type of stuff. And when you're ready to go back out, you just push the button and take it right on back out. It's pretty quick and easy. If you just need to kind of bump it out enough to go over there and get to the bathroom or something, you could do so if you don't want to climb over the bed part. Now on the downstairs part, let's check all this out here. So when we're ready to close this up, we're gonna push the other slide button. Now these downstairs slides are hydraulic. So this is gonna work a little bit differently. So our kitchen slide out here came in first. Let off the button here just to kind of show you what this looks like here. So you can kind of see it comes in pretty close to your island right there. Same thing back here on your sofa area. It's coming in nice and close there. So you wanna make sure that your sofa and stuff is all out of the way, your drawers and things are closed. Make sure your floor is clean so your slides don't run over the floor and damage it. And very, very important to make sure your cabinets back there are also latched into place properly so that if you try to open or close it, those do not catch on the slide fascia and rip off. But with this closed up, I still can come in here. I can't get to my freezer part, but I could come in and load some stuff into part of my refrigerator. So that's kind of nice if you're stopping at a grocery store or something and you just need to run in and throw something to drink in there to make it cold. And then right here, we're gonna come in the rest of the way. You see that slide coming in up over top of your main subfloor. You can let off the button if you need to. And, you know, just kind of keep an eye on things as you're moving in and out. And yes, if you accidentally forget to turn off the uh, ceiling fan, there's still enough room for it to go and not hurt something. Hopefully it stays that way. But you can see here, when it is closed, I'm not really getting back there. I could climb over the counter or something if I really had to, but for the most part, just bump the room back out and you'll be good to go. So when it goes back out, it's kind of the same thing. It just takes a few seconds for this thing to run in and out. Very, very important again when you're going out to make sure that there's no electric poles or water poles or trees or anything at the campsite uh, just to be safe so you're not damaging anything. Now be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.